Hi everybody. Today I want to talk about singer-songwriter production. We can see a lot of guys and girls singing just with the guitars, making good songs, but when they try to record an album, they think that they need more instruments, because if they don't do that, the album may sound boring. But sometimes, what they achieve doing that is to pervert their music. So today we are going to mix a song with only a guitar and a vocal track, nothing more. For this case, I've used a Katie Ferrara song called Hear the Wolves Cry, recorded live by Warren Hewitt from Produce Like a Pro. In the description below, you will find a link with the recording session. They used a dynamic Luit mic for the vocals and a condenser also from Luit for the guitar. Let's go to the Pro Tools session. Here it is. Before talking about what I've done, let's listen to the original tracks without any treatment. Uh, have them down here. I can hear the howl that goes through my mind Boy, let me closer in the dead of night My heart's pounding like never before Into the forest is where I belong If I left this city line Pack my bags and drove for miles and miles Would you guide me with reflected light? I look to the moon in that reddish hue Illuminate the past colored shades of blue I dig beneath the branches and watch them unwind Memories of the child I left behind If I left this city line Through the blazing telephone wires Felt you Love this track. Please follow Katie Ferrara, she is so talented. The first thing we notice is the lack of air in the vocals. It's the price we pay sometimes if you use dynamic mics, but we don't have guitar bleed. We have vocal bleed on the guitar track, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. Uh, another problem is, of course, that we don't have a stereo sensation. So, first of all, let's fix it. Here I have the guitars. We can do this in different ways. One is panning the guitar to one side and its reverb to the other side. Another one is to duplicate the track, panning one opposite to the other, and then insert a short delay in one of them, about 20 milliseconds. Uh, and this is the one I prefer. We can also uh, EQ both tracks differently. But in this case, I wanted to go a little bit further. And uh, what I did here is to reamp the guitar track. I use my Marshall AS100D with my Dacapo reamping box. Uh, but I did not record the speaker as usually. Uh, I record the line out of the amp and then a couple of room mics. Here we have the stereo line out and the room mics. And uh, I ramp it twice. One with the reverb of the amp and another one without. I use the reverb in the room mics and the dry in the line outs. So from one track, now we have five. 
the original one, the stereo line out, and the room mics, which I use as a guitar reverb. I left the original guitar in the center just for making the mix more cohesive. Then the line out panned 50%, left and right, and then the room mics pan 100% left and right. Let's see what I've done to the tracks. In the original track, I have just a filter, some compression, transparent compression. On the line out, the same filter, more or less the same compression, and here's the trick, a short delay in one of the channels, only in the right channel. Nothing here. And for the room tone, more filtering is different in this case, a little bit higher. The same compression, more or less, and then this reverb inserted, the one knob wetter from waves. This makes uh, my room like if it was a little bit bigger. Let's see how it sounds. Not bad. When you add delays and reverb as uh, we did here, uh, you are always have to check the face. Uh, maybe with an analyzer or maybe checking the mix in mono. On the guitar bass, I have CLA Mix Hub. I usually use this plugin as a starting point for every track. A little bit of filtering, EQ and compression. Let's see how it sounds. Just EQ. more fuller sound. Now we have Elysia envelope just for taming the 
peak sound make the track softer softer sound, then a fire chill emulation, compressing just a bit. like how it sounds subtle, but it's nice. Then, this pull deck emulation, boosting a little bit the low end, and boosting and cutting the high end. <laughs> Then, last plugin, the AB Road Saturator. I really don't know uh, what does every parameter here, but it just sounds more pleasant to my ears. I tweak a little bit the EQ um, before and after, and then change the frequencies here and this ratio, and that's okay. I make this bass processing uh, after making the vocals just for having a better um, view of the whole track. Now, let's go to the vocals.
the first thing to do uh, is this high pass filter because we have a lot of noise from the movement of the artist. After that, we need uh, a little bit of gain automation, but I use this um, vocal rider from Waves, which is basically the same, but uh, the plugin does it um, automatically. You just have to set the target here with these parameters and then check the results. The past colored shades of blue. I dig beneath the branches and watch them unwind. Memories of the child I left behind. If I left this city line through the blazing telephone eyes, felt you guide me with reflected light. You can see this feather going up and down. Then Again, CLA, Mixhub. With filtering, EQ, compression, and the sibilance from waves also. Let's check how it sounds. The past colored shades of blue. I dig beneath the branches and watch them unwind. Memories of the child I left behind. If I left this city line through the blazing telephone eyes, felt you guide me with reflected light. How far do I run? I hear the wolves cry. I hear the wolves cry. I Never looking back at who I am And I know it's just a matter of time Before the sun begins to rise If I left this all behind Had a torch and light in the velvet sky No more pain Much better for me But still we need a little bit more of air so we are going to use this Mach EQ2. The past colored shades of blue. I dig beneath the branches and watch them unwind. Memories of the child I left behind. If I left this city line through the blazing telephone eyes. Felt you guide me with reflected light. How far do I run? I hear the wolf. Nice. Uh, I used this air band in 15K. Was thinking about 5, yes, 5, five dB. Let's go now with the vocal effects. The first one. A mono reverb, this AB road chambers. I wanted a mono reverb in this case just for leaving more space uh, for the guitar. We have high pass filter, we have a little bit of pre delay, and then uh, compression side chain to the vocals. Doing that, we contain the reverb while singing, but we can leave it breathe at the end of each phrase. Let's see how it sounds. And if I left this city line through the blazing telephone eyes, felt you guide me with reflected light. How far do I run? I hear the wolves cry. 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 Like it? Not much reverb, but fine for me. 
then we have a spaced out delay from baby audio. This delay is a little bit different because it has also reverb on it and we have um, you have a lot of options and different sounds. With this delay I wanted to open the vocals especially on, on choruses. Let's check how it sounds. And if I left this city line through the blazing telephone wires, felt you guide me with reflected light. How far do I run? I hear the wolves cry. 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 Check this plugin, it's, it's really amazing for the vocals. Now, we have an Octavox. Uh, with this plugin, I create eight copies of the vocals, pan each one left and right, with different pannings, and each one is slightly detuned. Um, I use this uh, track with compression after the octavox just for having a reinforcement to the um, vocal. And if I left this city line through the blazing telephone eyes, felt you guide me with reflected light. How far do I run? I hear the wolves cry. I hear the wolves cry. I Nice effect. And last one is a little bit of drive with the character from Elysia. I use also a compressor before the effect. Let's see how it sounds. And if I left this city line through the blazing telephone wires, felt you guide me with reflected light. How far do I run? I hear the wolves cry. 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 Nice. I use just a little bit to add this vibe to the track. You can do a lot more stuff, but I wanted to keep it as natural as possible. Let's see the vocal bass. Easy. H comp with not much processing. And if I Reflected light. How far do I run? I hear the wolves cry. 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 I want to run as fast as I can. Just want to be more or less of compression. Um, sounds really well, this compressor. Then we have the Elysia Muse EQ, just for um, adding a little bit more of air and cleaning some stuff in warm mode. Let's see how it sounds. And if I left this city line through the blazing telephone wires, felt you guide me with reflected light. How far do I run? I hear the wolves cry. I hear the wolves cry. I hear the wolves cry. 
cry. I hear the wolves cry. Nice. I think it leaves a little bit more uh, the reverb on the delay out in the mix. Let's check with the whole mix. And if I left this city line through the blazing telephone wires, felt you guide me with reflected light. I thought you were running, I hear the wolves cry, I hear the wolves cry. You can notice the reverb on the delay a little bit more with this plugin. Well, let's check the master bus. I use Studio Rack with CLA mix down for compressing a little bit, and sometimes uh, I use also the EQ, in this case, just the high shelf. Um, then a J37 tape emulation and an L2 limiter, but uh, usually this limiter does nothing. Let's listen. And if I I try to compress no more than 2 dBs because I don't want to overprocess the, the master bus. I don't have these uh, plugins inserted while I'm mixing. In fact, uh, I started the mix without this on and I just engaged them uh, when I had uh, an idea of what I want. So. Here we have a good mix, but we can make more emotion um, with automation. At first, I started with all the vocal effects. Uh, I like how they sound on courses, but then um, for me, this are, are too much. So let's listen without automation and then with automation. You can notice too much delay on the bridge, so let's listen with the automation.
Much better now. Doing this automation, um, we help the vibe and the emotion that Katie puts on the song. For the final phrase, I leave only a little bit of uh, reverb to make it more intimal. Nice. Uh, also, we automate a little bit the guitars um, here in the bridge. I down a little bit the original one on the reverb, the room mics, so uh, we can notice more the rays of the chorus. If I left this all behind, it's such a light in the velvet sky. No more painted faces, worn out places, the birds are flying high. If I left this city line through the blazing telephone wires, felt you got me. Nice. Uh, this is only a small example of what uh, can we achieve with automation. As I said before, you can do a lot more stuff. Let's listen to the whole song. I can hear the howl that goes through my mind Pulling me closer in the dead of night My heart's pounding like never before into the forest is where I belong If I left this city line Pack my bags and drove for miles and miles Would you guide me with reflected light? I thought you were running I hear the wolves cry I hear the wolves cry I hear the wolves cry
What do you think? This is only one way to do this kind of mixes, but there are a lot. I want to demonstrate that it's possible to do a good mix with a good vibe and good feeling with only one instrument and vocal. One of the most important things when mixing uh, is to respect the artist's performance. And when the song is good, it's not difficult. I hope you like the song as much as me. Thanks to the Produce Like a Pro Academy for giving us these tracks and the other ones they have. I am a lifetime member and really proud of that. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.